Hi, I'm Adam from the Foundries Research Team. I'm here at SIGGRAPH 2016 with Professor Victor Zorden from Clemson University and we're going to be having a look at the Mech VR experience that we have here in the Experiences Hall. Hi Victor, how are you? Good, good. So Victor, I've just had a go on this. It's incredible. I'm still shaking from the adrenaline. I had a great time. Do you want to explain what we have behind us, this uh, wonderful VR experience? Sure. So uh, the system is a uh, simulator so that you get the experience of riding a biped mech warrior, a mech robot. And uh, in, e in essence, the hardware rig is uh, moving you around based on a physical model of a, a biped robot. And everything else is a game-like experience layered on the top of that so that you feel in an immersive experience when you're trying to escape the space station and kill the drones and so on uh, while you're uh, uh, physically experiencing uh, this motion simulated from a, a, a dynamic simulation of a biped. Yeah, so the is it hydraulic based, the hardware rig? Uh, it's actually a worm gear system, so it's not hydraulic, it's electronic. Okay, yeah. okay. so I didn't quite realize before I did this experience just how, um, how intense the movement would be and how it really sells the experience. I mean, what were the technical challenges around creating a, you know, we've seen lots of VR experiences and video games, but this is sort of taking it to the next level. And can you talk about technical challenges? Sure. Um, for me, my background is actually computer animation, like ragdoll physics for video games. And one of the technical challenges was mapping a, a very different uh, system, like a biped walking around in free space, to a stationary rig. And so the mapping is actually on the uh, angles only. Uh, we don't have translation or movement. Um, and then we had a lot of visual and auditory cues to fill in the gaps of what was missing from all of those additional pieces. Pieces. Uh, the last piece was, of course, also designing a user experience um, within the constraints of the system, make sure that people don't get sick and that kind of thing. And, and for SIGGRAPH, we wanted to make the demo two minutes long. So we really wanted to cram it in your first time. You're going to get in there, get the full experience. So that was a, a big challenge. So I'm a little bit ashamed to take it. It took me two attempts to run through. I wasn't very good. It, it was just, uh, I guess the adrenaline really makes it difficult. So you, it, you created the experience in Unity, is that right? So Unity is our hub. It actually has a custom driver for the hardware rig that we put in, uh, but otherwise it drives the Oculus for us, the two joysticks, and uh, the displays. So, Do you have any problems with latency? Because I would think that with a headset, with so much movement, I would feel sick, but I didn't feel that at all. So I have to thank our friends at Oculus for figuring out the tracking latency problems. The rig itself is a commercial rig and uh, is, is just fine without a, a, a stitch of latency. And of course, we have a, um, a ridiculously overpowered graphics card in our system that is, is helping along the way. So uh, in, in that respect, I, I really feel like we did not have any problems with latency. Um, the biggest thing that we were facing is um, you know discrepancies between what you were uh, experiencing in the virtual world in the physical world, but really timing was not something that we played with at all. Interesting. So uh, what do you think are you going to do next with this? Have you got any plans to take it further? I was commenting earlier, I thought it'd be great if I could be a gigantic mech warrior strolling through the middle of New York, blowing buildings up. Have you any thoughts to take it further and ex uh, maybe experiment with scale? So uh, we are excited that this rig is traditionally used for car simulation, and the biped actually represents a pretty, pretty different uh, mode of uh, movement. Um, but we're also thinking about um, adding in something that would be a third that's a very different, again, from um, walking or then driving. And so um, the expectation is that we take the same rig, a generic rig, and then give you a, an experience that's very different. So we wouldn't just, uh, I wouldn't want to do something like mo uh, move to a bigger robot, but I want to create something that's a user experience, um, maybe even with a competition. So you have, uh, you know, essentially a head-to-head -head kind of experience. Um, but we have a few thoughts and uh, we're keeping those under our hats yeah. for the moment in stealth mode, but we really are excited to do some more. Yeah, it's, it's really great and I, I had a great time. So thank you very much and thanks for talking to us today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it and uh, enjoy your SIGGRAPH. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye.